Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're taking our daily devotionals today in the Gospel of Luke, and we're at chapter 1, verse 67 to 75. So let's read it straight out out there. Now his father Zacharias was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied, saying, Blessed is the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people and has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets who have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant and the oath which he swore by our, to our father Abraham to grant us that we, being delivered from the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. So we're going to pause there. Zacharias isn't done. This is going to be a two-parter, you know, Zacharias prophecy. We're doing it this morning and tomorrow morning. But just to take that first chunk and just kind of hear that and think about it, it begins with the beatitude. Blessed, blessed, verse 68, is the Lord God of Israel because he has visited and redeemed his people. God is delivering. God is working. And with the birth of John the Baptist, that's going to be uh, part of his work to deliver all of his people and bring them back to him. That God is fulfilling his promises as you work your way through here. He spoke by his prophets And uh, this is what he's promised. And now he's doing it. He's doing it right now. Uh, Prophecy is in process of fulfillment, says the father of John the Baptist. It was true. But anyway, down here near the end, to grant us to be that we would be delivered from the hand of our enemies and that we might serve him without fear. And so here we are in this world and there's a lot of things sort of lined against Christians, but, but we can serve him without fear because no matter what happens to us, Our light affliction, which is what but for a moment, uh, is working out a a far greater weight of glory in the longer term, right? And so uh, notice how we can serve him at verse 75. In holiness and righteousness before him, and it says all the days of our life. So it sounds to me, does it sound that way to you? It sounds to me like we can serve God, we can serve Jesus every day. We can can walk in, in, in the word here is in holiness and righteousness every day. What a promise. But God's promises are always true. Let's give thanks for that. Dear Father in heaven, your promises are always true. And so we can we can build a life upon your promises. Be our helper, Lord. Deliver your people, not only then, but now. And help us to live lives of holiness and righteousness even day by day today. We we believe you. Now, Lord, help us to submit to you so that you can do that very thing. Now, Lord, we thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, we ask. Amen. Friend, may God bless you today.